Elvesborg's fortress was situated in Klippan, but was condemned after another Danish siege and a new one was built in 1677 on an island situated in the river mouth, New Elvesborg. The Swedish days of empire had ended with the shooting of Karl XII and now the neighbouring nations wanted revenge. The handsome Danish admiral Peter Tordenkveld sailed to Gothenburg along the Swedish west coast after successfully conquering the Karlstad fortress in Marstrand. The islands between Elvesborg Fortress and Hissingen turned out to be the strategic weak point. They came under fire from three sides and the city was threatened, but eventually came to the rescue, attacking the Danes from behind. This led to the Swedish phrase, the Danish pick no Swedish lilies. Ow! Later, New Elvesborg was used as a prison. There were benefits of having prisoners in the fortress, prisons being so overcrowded at the time. Also, the Ellsborg prisoners were a source of free labour. The prison commander was called Gustav Kruk, and he did everything wrong. He was 32 years old and was responsible for more than 100 prisoners. He took the task seriously and had radical new ideas for the prison service, all of which went a bit wrong. With his inaugural address, he began Good morning, comrades! His aide pulled him aside, whispering, you, you can't call them comrades! Huh. Gustav started again with, Good, Good morning, citizens! <laughs> but his aide said, They're not citizens, Mr. Commandant. They're criminals. Good morning, accomplices! <laughs> One winter morning, the Commandant had to visit Gothenburg on an urgent matter. But he was so worried that the ice wouldn't hold, that he commanded four men to carry him in his favourite chair over to Hissingen. <laughs> Gustav had no head for figures. For example, he had the prisoners make shoes, but the shoes were sold for less than what the material cost. Yes, but look how many we can make! In the end, he himself ended up in jail, for debt, as he could never keep the accounts in order. <coughs> From castle to castle. 1869 saw the end of New Ellsborg as a fortress. It was never taken by a foreign power.